Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well in your lives and for those who are new, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me, I am the Garden Woman. So I'm about to dive into my miniature prayer so I can read this layer of cards that my Divine Spirit has guided me to lay out for y'all. All praises be to my universal powers. Thank you, my divine energies, for allowing me to receive the energies that I that I may need to tap into the Virgo's lives so that I may provide information of clarification and confirmation into their lives. I'm very grateful for all of my blessings. I'm very grateful for my intuitive guidance. I'm grateful for my angelic guidance. All of my angels and my intuitive guides are welcome into this entire room, are welcome into this entire reading. All uh, praises be to my divine energies. I share. All right, y'all. I'm about to get started. So, Virgos, I have the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to balance your life. It seems like things have gotten much harder for you. You don't know which way to go. Calling out for help, but no one has answered. You need to actually pick up your phone. <laughs> you need to pick up your phone and actually call for help. So I guess you like been spiritually calling out for help but no one has answered who are you calling on to virgos it has not been your angels you need to be specific with the kind of help that you want because you don't just want any old kind of help you need to be specific so that you may receive an answer and if you know someone who is very spiritual who is very peaceful who is great with guiding call them okay so next i have the ace of pentacles wow virgos no one can save you but you you must be willing through to walk through the darkness to get to the light Okay, you have to walk your path. No one can walk your path but you. There is no more time to waste on old situations. They must die off so that you can become new. Okay, so next Virgos, I have the Queen of Cups. Realizing that tragedy comes when you bring tragedy about. You must learn to calm your inner demons. Seek out for peace. Seek out for peace, Virgo. Calm your inner demons. Okay. Next, I have the Three of Swords. There is nothing comparable to fresh love. Sometimes we must receive pain so that we know what fresh love even feels like. You have to go through this in order to reach the next level for you. You have to graduate this level. You have to pass this level, okay, in order to reach the next one, Virgos. All right, so next I have the Ten of Swords. So much pain, so much hurt, so much dishonesty. So many lies have been told. You must retreat. You must come back to the center. Come back to peace. Come back to wisdom. Come back to knowledge. Use what you know to bring you back to the center. 
Positivity is what you need to seek out. More positive things. Be around more positive energy. All right? Huh. Next, I have the two. I have the four of wands. Sometimes relationships are brought on for you to fail in so you can know what you want and what you need for the next relationship. There is better out there for you, Virgo. You just have to believe and be open to receiving. Receiving honor, receiving guidance, receiving real healing love. And then I have the Magician card. There is no one like you. You are the only one who can cast spells for your life. You must break these chains. You must break these curses that have held you back from time after time. It's time for you to create new. New life, new destiny. You choose your you choose your path. You choose your fate by what path you choose to walk down. So, Virgos, next I have the Knight of Swords. You have positive energy flourishing your way. Will you accept this? It may come as an attack depending on your perspective of this person. Will you accept this positive energy or will you let the chambers of your mind block it out? Your angels would love for you to accept this positive energy. This person is very fierce and mighty and they hold lots of power. They know how to use their power. They will use their power for good. But if you reject this positive energy, you will not receive any positive energy for a while. Wow. All right now. All right now, Virgos. Mm. So next, I have the Eight of Pentacles. You have to work on yourself. If you want life, you have to bring life from within yourself. Release pain. Put all of that energy into something that will help you flourish. No more wallowing in self-pity. Work on who you are and who you want to become. You get to choose who you want to become, Virgo. So next, I have Seven of Wands in reverse. Wow, tired of all of the hurt. It feels like your life is upside down. It feels like you have been attacked and eaten by the wolves. They've gotten you. They have reached you. What will you do now? How will you make this change for the better? So then I have the Empress card. Some of you are really taking good care of yourselves. Keep this up. And some of you are not. Begin with the doing so. Always make yourself look good. All right now, my lovely Virgos. So let's go ahead and just put these on top of each other. All right. 
So at the bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Cups for you. Cherishing a love that you've never had. For some of you, this is a love of oneself. Balancing your feminine and masculine energy within yourself will lead you to great destiny. Destinies. <laughs> All right, and at the top of the deck, I have the Four of Swords. Knowing that you must seek the answers from within yourself. Knowing that you must calm the chaos within your mind in order to have peace. All right now, so done with the tarot deck. Moving along to my oracle cards. All right. And I also have a booklet. And I will be reading out of the booklet. <laughs> so this is Moonology. And according to which card falls out or which cards fall out, I will go to my table of contents, find the definition of the card, and I will read it for you. Hold on, I. Let's let it fall out, my divine spirit. Let's do it this way. but that's okay <laughs> all right now Virgo so I have five cards okay so let's start with the middle card you and your loved ones are safe this card is new moon in cancer Right? You and your loved ones are safe. So new moon cards usually mean clean slate, potential, and dreams. Okay. Let me go to my table of contents. New moon in Cancer. All right, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. There is a new start coming in your private life. Something is rising up in connection with the people and places you hold dearest. This can be to do with a member of your family, a flatmate, or a moving house. If you are hoping to move forward with something special in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. If you've been neglecting your family, it's time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring you your heart's desires. Attune to the moon. Make sure you put family first. Additional meetings for this card is let someone get a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting for your child or children. It's time to review your goals. Have they changed? Meditation will help you banish your insecurities. Spending time near water will bring you peace and answers. All right. The teaching. The new moon in Cancer can be a super emotional time. The moon is all about emotions and Cancer is a water sign and also very emotional. Saying that the moon is very happy in the sign of Cancer, it's one of her two home signs along with Taurus. So, whenever you pull it, this card suggests that whatever happens next will be in your favor. It's especially positive for family matters. All right, y'all. If you need to rewatch the video, rewatch the video. So, next I'm doing the second card. You're very close to achieving your goal. Gibeous Moon. Let's see, 
Gibius Moon. All right, you are very close to achieving your goals, Gibius Moon. The word Gibius means bulging. What a descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging. Oh, bulging. With possibility and coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want. Though you are certainly on the right track which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense. So don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know there's a fuse attached to this situation. So be careful if you choose to light it. Attune to the moon. I know that I am on the right track. Additional meanings for this card. Now is a good time to review your plans. Keep the momentum going as you move towards your dreams. Stay focused. It's a good time to start a new project. You need to get back into good health habits. The teaching. The Gibeous Moon comes at the very end of the lunar cycle, just before the full moon. She looks like she's bulging because she's almost a full moon. So she's nearly fully rounded. It's the culmination of waxing cycle and as such tends to to be a rather intense period of the month no matter when you pull this card it suggests a very ripe time in a very ripe situation all right so next i have the answers you need are coming this is a full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming i like that all right the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini this card is a reminder that it is important to speak your truth but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener right now you need to guard against indiscretion the answers you need may well come soon the issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved if you are inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you are in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message. Least said, soon is mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Your words have enormous power. Okay, your word is your wand. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. Attune to the moon. Have an important conversation, but stay calm. Additional meanings for this card. Don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? You need to laugh off the situation and just move on. Job applications have good prospects. The teaching. Talk, talk, and more talk as the emotional full moon moves into the communicative sign of Gemini. It's too easy to say too much so mind how you go if you pull this card this card can indicate an enjoyable social event since the full moon in gemini is a great time for socializing this card also augurs well for any study you're either taking or considering all right so next i have the romantic cycle begins new moon in libra Okay. A romantic cycle begins. Oh, a new romantic cycle begins. It says different in here though. Whatever. Give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a, there's a restart for you and for someone else. A new relationship could be beginning. 
and if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection. And anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in personal life. Libra is the sign of relating, and this card suggests that whatever, whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time. Attune to the moon. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Additional meanings for this card. Feel more, think less. Marriage or engagement is on the cards. A legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. The teaching. Libra is the sign of love and harmony, negotiation and relationships. It is, harm it is harmonious, kind and luxurious, and always aiming for balance. So, when we have the new moon in Libra, or at any time you draw this card, there's a restart possible for anything and everything connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearances, and justice. Remember that Libra is depicted by a set of scales. This energy wants to bring things back to equilibrium. All right, y'all. Next, a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> Virgo, get the Virgo card. All right. So, new moon in Virgo. A time to give rather than take. When this card comes up, it's time for you to take stock of your situation. Where are you? And where do you want to go? The new moon energy of this card suggests a restart. And the Virgo energy suggests you make the, that restart a clever one. That's simple and well organized. Virgo also has a strong health aspect to it. So if you've been unwell, this card suggests that your health is on the way up. Yay! Virgo loves clean eating and alternative therapies. So add these into your routines now. However, you've been feeling. If a situation is blocked at the moment, it could be that you're overanalyzing things or being too critical. It ta it's time to ask less what someone else can do for you and think more about what you can do for others. Attune with the moon. Recommit to healthy morning and evening routines. Additional meanings for this card, gradual improvements are coming. Pay attention to detail if you want success without being pedantic, 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 interesting, I'll look it up later. Be of service to others and love the money and love be of service to others and love and money will follow. The person you're asking about is reliable. The teaching, Virgo is a sign of health, service and analysis. Its energy is precise and has a feel of the harvest about it. When this card comes up, it could be that a wonderful bounty is coming your way. However, the energy of new moon in Virgo is usually about getting your life in order. So that's what you need to do at the time of the Virgo new moon and whenever else you pull this card. All right, Virgos. So, I have completed your five-card Moonology reading because that's the amount that came out. All right, y'all. Hope y'all take this reading with clarity and an open mind. And yes, pass on the love, pass on the light for anyone who you know may be facing any challenges in their lives because this video could definitely help them. Okay? I appreciate all who have tuned in who have came back, and who are first-time, first-timers. All right, so I will be back next Thursday to do your readings. All right, I love you all. Peace.